Hey guys. Hope you guys are doing well. It's been quite a while since I shot a video and uh, today I'm here to talk about a principle called as Pareto principle. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work recently like it's just been extremely hectic this new year with uh, you know kind of businesses again flourishing uh, heavily and uh, there's a lot of amazing things happening in the world now where people are going post covid and uh, people are you know trying to come out and their businesses are growing today. So. This has been extremely hectic and that's when I thought about a principle called Pareto principle which I've always believed in and which has always fascinated me. Uh, so this person called Wilfredo Pareto who's an Italian person and initially he came up with this concept saying like 20% of the land is owned by 80% of the customers and 80% of the land in Italy is owned by 20% of the people. So he was kind of shocked by seeing that and then he started surveying various other lands in other countries and stuff and he was like, amazed to see that pattern was similar across and then people started using this Pareto principle into various things that they do so what it basically says is like 20% of your work is what gets you 80% of your outcomes and 80% of your outcome is what gives you 20% of the effort so always make sure in your organization or your marketing or whichever strategy you're trying to do make sure that which is that 20% that is giving you 80% so go and analyze today like okay what is that 100% of work that you're doing and what 20% of that is actually giving you the 80% of the outcomes and what is that 80% of that work that you're actually doing which you're getting 20% of the outcome so the idea here people who do four day work weeks or people who only work very little and make a lot of money are people who are able to understand this and people who are able to double on their 20% of effort so say for example if you have a 20% of effort that's giving you 80% outcome if you can replicate that 20% then you're going to get 160% outcome right which is like huge increase in your outcome which means your 60% of your time or the work that you do is completely free right so you're actually able to get way more by spending much less time if you are able to identify which is that 20% that is going to give you a lot of outcomes so that's similar same thing applies to marketing as well this is what we try and implement for our clients as well like to see and identify which is that 20% of work that gives them the maximum outcome and how to leverage that and reduce the rest of the things so that the outcome end level and the end outcome and the growth is like much faster so try and use this principle uh, this principle is also applicable to things like teams like say for example uh, you have a team and I'm sure many people have these A players in their team and there are certain players who are not that strong even if it's a, a corporate office or if it's a startup or if it's a it's, it's a football team or a cricket team right so 20% of your players are going to be winning 80% of your matches and 80% of your players are going to be winning 20% of your matches so always have this principle in mind and I've actually uh, the minute I came across this concept which was like decades back and I was like you know uh, fascinated and I've been trying to use it for various things and this is something that has stuck in my mind for a very long time and it's, I've tried to implement it as much as possible and it's actually helped us becoming more productive and uh, in terms of not just for our own work, not just for our team internally but also in terms of the strategies and the marketing outcomes that we do for people. So always try and see like in your marketing today just see what are the step one, well, these are the 10 things that I do and which are the two things that is giving me the 80% of outcome. Thank you so much.